is in demand. Scotland's biggest evening show. Let's hear it. We're backstage at Bellaro, Teen the Park 2013. Charlene Spiteri is with me. How, how do you feel being at Teen the Park in the sunshine? It makes a nice change, doesn't it? My God, I mean, the amount of times. In saying that, whenever Texas have gone on stage at Teen the Park, it's went dry. The rain's actually always stopped, which has been quite amazing. But the amount of times that I have stood here, like, absolutely in two feet of mud, freezing my backside off. Try to think a nice way to put that there. Just as we as we say, it's like dreek and horrible in Scotland. So yeah, it's, it's nice to have a bit of sun. Seems like we're somewhere else. It doesn't seem like we're in it Balado, does like it? Europe, it feels like a European festival. It does, doesn't it? We've been in Spain. It's like our own little uh, Coachella. Yeah, exactly. But we've got nice green grass, which makes a change because we've had the, so much rain for the rest of the year. So how do you feel about playing tea again? I mean, did, when it comes round and you see the, the uh, email come in saying, do you want to play tea in the park? Uh, is it an instant yes? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting this year because it's the first time I've not played the main stage. Um, and it's funny because we're on we're in, we're on um, the BBC, the Radio 1 stage, and it's we're in with Jake Bogg and Haim and all these bands, and we're kind of like going, ooh, these are all young bands, and we're kind of amongst them, so, ah, what do we do? Um, it's, it's good, it's interesting. I mean... When we were asked to do it, we were asked to be there, we were kind of like, oh yeah, this is a bit different, it's a challenge, it's something new, um, and it's a different way for us to do it. You know, it's like, I've always done, like, even when I've done, like, worked with Grand Central and stuff, I've gone and played the tents at Glastonbury and everything, and then you go on the big stage, and so it's like, it's just always trying to do things that are a little bit different, rather than just doing the same old, same old over and over again. So you must be feeling pretty, uh, f- pretty excited about this, a-, a change in scenery in a sense then at Teen the Park? damn right it's it's nice it's, we've got a really nice little friendly area all the bands now there are really everybody's like all right how you doing it's like it's lovely who are you next to in the in the artist village then jake bug calvin harris we've got um we've got heim beside us we've got all the bands and yeah it's nice have you been talking to calvin yet is he there i've not seen calvin yet no he both times he on his own like he'll be he's, on he's like, headliner he'll be, so yeah he'll be on like it's some ridiculous like hour of like two in the morning while I'm on the train, I'll be on the sleeper train back to London at that point. So yeah. So you're not you're, not, you're going to hang about and say hello to him. I can't. I've got to get back to London. I've got work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. What's happening tomorrow? Ah, see that with me, Tiana. You're working straight. And I just I just got off a plane from Detroit. Um, we've just been shooting the video, and it's going straight into an editing this week tomorrow morning. That's got to start getting edited, and we've got to pick out the best bits. See, this is the rock and roll side that not everyone sees. It's not all about being VIP yeah, you know, and it is, it is, days it's off. Like, yeah, it's not. It's not like being a slob. Twenty-five years in, it's not about being a slob. It's a bit like fighting for every little piece that you've got. Going back to being in, uh, being on the on that stage with, as you say, a lot of younger bands. What do you think that means for Texas as a band? Is that kind of like a rejuvenation? Would you say? Yeah, I mean, it does feel really. I mean, I think the fact that the bands that we were in, that we're in with, it's very much about music. It's about songwriting. It's about that sort of thing. So that's how it feels, feels to me. That's why it was kind of interesting for us to do it. You know, if people view us in that way, then I'm like happy with that because, you know, I don't think we're we're not like a fashionable band. We're not like a band that are like sort of like cool or anything. We just kind of write songs and make records and and do what we do as best as we possibly can and I guess you know people have sort of sussed that it's funny it's weird because we've suddenly got this since we put this record out and we've been playing some of the festivals we suddenly get this audience of like 20 somethings that are like the kids that were I mean at first I didn't realize I didn't I couldn't understand why they suddenly loved the songs and knew the songs even and um then it was pointed out to me by some of them that they were like oh yeah when we were going to school when we were like six these were this, this was the record that my mother drove us insane with, so you're about like, oh, okay, so we're kind of like more or less a bit, maybe like a bit of a nostalgia band for, you know, the 20-somethings. Well, there you go. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Listen, Charlene, thanks for chatting to us. Thank you.